Yesterday, USA. Sights and sounds left behind for the duration, but never forgotten. The motion picture has seen to that. It follows the soldier to the far reaches of battle. Bright lights, laughter, home, for those who thirst for sights and sounds not alien to American eyes and ears. The motion picture industry contributes the films, and the Army gets them right up to the firing lines. The objective? Not only to give the troops the best in entertainment pictures, but also to get the films on screens overseas as preview performances, or at least to show them simultaneously with their release in the States. To this end, the bulk of the shipments move by air, the rest by fast boat. Global mileages shrink before today's transportation. And quickly, ammunition for entertainment unreels to span the universe, stretching out to 19 distribution depots, and then to flow to pinpoint fighting outposts across the Earth's surface. And here they are, over there, films to be routed through the Army's world network of exchanges. But this is only the beginning. Leaving the exchanges, the precious celluloid must be moved to the interior, must be moved by whatever modes of transportation are available, and those that can be improvised. In the skies over the battle-scarred Southwest Pacific area, film containers are part of the cargo en route from New Caledonia to a strategic island outpost. Below is Bougainville. Similar landings are made throughout the Solomon Islands and surrounding areas where our hard-fighting troops are making it hot for the jam. The welcome passengers begin the last leg of their journey, moving right up with the mailbags. Letters from home and movies tonight at the Bougainville Roxy. The films are greeted like long-lost friends. Weary but eager warriors converge on their little theater as the word races through camp. The names of these island battlegrounds are familiar to all who follow the war in the Pacific. Yet how many know that men starved for entertainment are carving their own makeshift theaters out of a tangled wilderness? Wire reels for seats, coconut logs for seats, in a palm grove selected for added atmosphere. They even line up all the empty gas drums in sight, anything that can be sat on. Here are emotions reduced to their simplest formula. Men weary from battle and long treks through the no man's land of a score of fronts. Men grasping for that which symbolizes home and loved ones and enjoyment of life. Strange appetites can now be satisfied. For those resting behind the lines while recovering from battle wounds, there is added interest and appeal in the motion picture. Time passes easier and more quickly Imaginations are stimulated and the scars of combat minimized for the moment. Troops of allied nations find the welcome mat wherever films are unreal for American doughboys. Rain is no barrier, the show must go on. Shielded by jungle ponchos and other coverings, our troops sip through the pouring tropical rainstorm and it would be bad for the operator were he to stop the show now. Army nurses at an undisclosed fighting front. A notice is posted. Enough said, a woman's the same in the Army or out. Naples, where we find the Air Corps heading for the movies. In big cities, the problem is much more simple. Just find the right kind of auditorium and you can give the men the same presentations they used to get at home. Flying areas along the Italian front, mobile units are doing the job of bringing the movies to the troops. <laughs> it's
It's the same story each time operations permit time out for relaxation. One of the bigger problems is getting sufficient films to the right places at the right time. Naturally, every soldier wants to see a brand new film, something he can write home about, like a world premiere on an airplane-mounted screen. The Army is doing everything possible, within tactical limitations, to rush these gift films to our men wherever they may be stationed. Included are screenings for troops in convoys on every ocean and for patients aboard hospital ships. The silver screen playing its most humane role, as is further shown in the scenes that are to follow. Excerpts from typical features already shipped overseas will help to illustrate the joy and appreciation of servicemen and women the world over. This has been the real-life portrayal of the average soldier and his reaction to entertainment films. He likes them. He wants them to keep on coming more and more often. And the prints continue moving overseas at an accelerated pace. Three new Hollywood productions shipped to all combat areas each week, gift of the motion picture industry. Up-to-the-minute calculation reveals these impressive figures. 
14,206 prints already delivered to the Army by the motion picture industry. On a single night, there were over 1,800 shows with attendance of one million for that same night. One outpost alone had 104 shows. The grand total, 55,000 and more shows a month overseas. If it's movies he wants, then Johnny Doughboy's really getting them.